So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the custom Twitter Feeds Pro WordPress plugin and show you some of the things that it can do. So I've just installed the plugin and I'm going to go to the Twitter Feeds menu here on the left. And all you need to do to set up the plugin is to obtain an access token and secret from Twitter. To do this, all you need to do is click the login button here, log into your Twitter account and authorize the plugin to read your data. And this will send back your Twitter access token and secret. And if you have a Twitter developer app set up, then you can use your own app information by checking this box. So now you just need to decide what kind of tweets you want to display. You can display tweets from any Twitter account by just entering the screen name here, or you can add more than one if you want to combine feeds. You can also display a hashtag feed, either from one hashtag or from multiple hashtags. You can also create searches, which will display tweets based on a specific set of criteria and search terms. For example, you could use basic words, phrases, or mentions, or you could get more specific and only show tweets which contain both a specific phrase and also an image. And you can find a full list of all of the available search options on our website. You can also choose to display the tweets from your home timeline or only tweets which mention you. If you want to combine different feed types into one single feed, for example, combining a user timeline and a hashtag feed, then just follow the directions here on how to do that. For now, I'm just going to display tweets from one of our Smash Balloon Twitter accounts. So I can either customize the feed right away, or I can just grab the custom Twitter feed shortcode here and copy and paste that into any post, page, or widget where I want the feed to be displayed. So if I view the page, you'll see that the Twitter feed is being displayed. So out of the box, the feed is displayed in one column, but as you'll see in a moment, when I go through the customized settings, every part of the feed is completely customizable uh, from the type of content that's displayed to the layout and the styling of all of the elements. You'll see that you can display multiple photos in the tweet. And if I share a link, then the plugin will actually retrieve the meta information of that URL dynamically and create a visual Twitter card link. And if I click on a photo or video, then it launches a pop-up light box and I can scroll through each item. There's full HTML5 video support along with support for third-party services like YouTube, Vimeo, Vine and SoundCloud. And at the bottom of each light box, you'll see that there's some more information and I can share the tweet on various social media networks or view it directly on Twitter. I can also choose to reply, retweet, or like the tweet without leaving my site. The feed is also completely responsive and so will adapt to the size of your screen. It's completely touchscreen compatible and will work on all different mobile devices. So if I head back over to the plugin settings page, I can show you just how easy this is to customize. So the first thing I'll do is add a few different user accounts and I'll set the number of tweets to be 50. Then I'm going to head over to the customize page and tweak a few things. So there are some basic settings for controlling the width and height of the feed. I can choose which parts of the tweets should be displayed and whether to show the header and the load more button. I can choose to display the tweet in a rotating carousel. Uh, select the number of columns in the carousel along with some other customization options. I can choose to display the feed in multiple columns and select the number of columns to use on desktop or mobile devices. I can select to auto load more tweets when I scroll to the bottom of the feed. I can also choose to filter the tweets in my feed. So you can choose to only show the tweets which contain certain words or hashtags, or you can choose to remove any tweets which contain specific words or hashtags. This gives you greater control over which tweets are displayed and allows you to automatically moderate the feed in advance to block specific words, hashtags, or phrases. So you can also choose to hide specific tweets in the feed if needed. And there's also some sections here for your own custom CSS and JavaScript. If I move onto the style tab, then there are some options here to style the various parts of the feed. You can set background colors. You can customize the header and set the custom text to be used. You can completely format the date by choosing one of our built-in options or using your own custom date format. 
and you can translate the text strings that are used in the date. You can customize the tweet author and the tweet text and translate the text strings that the plugin uses. You can also choose to disable any links in the tweets or you can choose to link the entire tweet text to the post on Twitter. You can style the reply, retweet and like options at the bottom of each post and change the text used in the Twitter link. And you can also choose the colors used in the load more button and choose to change or translate the text. So if I save the changes and go back and view the feed, then you can see that the customizations have been applied. So we have tweets from all three Twitter accounts displayed in a three column masonry layout. And if I scroll down, then you'll see that more tweets are automatically loaded when I reach the bottom of the feed. And the masonry layout is also completely responsive and changes to be one column on mobile devices. So another great feature of the plugin is that you can display multiple different feeds on either the same page or throughout your site and apply unique settings to each feed. So by default, the feeds will use the settings from the plugins configure, customize and style tabs, but you can override any of these by using the plugins handy shortcode options. And you can just add a setting to the shortcode directly and it will override that setting for that specific feed. So if I go over to my WordPress widgets page, then I can use the built in custom Twitter feeds widget and the default shortcode is added automatically. And by default, this will display the settings from the plugin settings pages, but I can override these using some of the shortcut options. So I'm gonna paste in a shortcode that I've already prepared. And this will display tweets from both the screen name twins and the hashtag MN twins in the same feed. I've set the number of tweets to be five. I've disabled the masonry columns layout, enabled the carousel and the autoplay setting chosen to show the header, excluded the media and the Twitter cards, and then set the background color to be a light gray. And I'm gonna add a second feed. And this one uses some search parameters to show only tweets containing the word sunset, which also contain media, such as photos and videos. And I've disabled the masonry layout again, and I've set the header text to be sunsets, um, set the height to be 400 pixels and I've set the number of tweets to be five. So if we view the page again, now you'll see that these two new feeds have been added. Top feed shows a carousel of tweets from both the twins account and the hashtag MN twins. And I can scroll through the tweets and load more at the end and it's excluding the media and the Twitter cards and has a light gray background color. And the second feed is of tweets containing the word sunset, which also contain either an image or a video. And as we can see, uh, there's a height of 400 pixels added to the feed. And so a scroll bar has been automatically added. And when we scroll to the bottom, you can see that more tweets are automatically loaded in. So hopefully this gives you an idea of just how versatile and customizable this plugin is. And it's demonstrated some of the things that you can do with it. Make sure to try out your own screen name, hashtag, or search terms in the demo on our website. And if you have any questions, then just get in touch via our website, Facebook page, or using at Smash Balloon on Twitter.